ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சோபர்னிகா ஸ்டோர் சேனல் இன் தி ஃபர்பிட் சம்மர் டேஸ் வென் சன்ஸ் ஃபார் ஹைட் இட்ஸ் பீ அண்ட் வி ஆர் அவுட் இன் தி ஓப்பன் இட் இஸ் பெட் நேச்சுரல் டு லுக் அரவுண்ட் ஃபார் ஏ டேஸ்டி அண்ட் ஹெல்தியர் ஃபுட் தட் இஸ் ஹேண்டி டு கஞ்ச் அவர் தேஸ்ட் அண்ட் டு கெட் ரீட் ஆஃப் அவர் ஹேர்ட்னஸ் இஸ் இன் இட் இன் சச் ஏ ஹார்ட் சுச்சுவேஷன் வி ஆல்வேஸ் சர்ச் ஏ காமன் அண்ட் ஈஸ்லி அவைலபிள் ஜூஸி ஃப்ரூட் லைக் ஆரஞ்ச் மொசம்பி டேங்கரின் எக்ஸெட்ரா In today's video, I am with you to discuss about an uncommon, exotic and rare sweet and sour fruit and the medium height tree that produces these wonderful fruits. Yes, this fruit is none other than the rare tropical tree Baraba. Before going into details about the various uses of Baraba fruit and the tree, let me remind you to see the video fully for all details. Baraba, also known by another common name, Lemon Drop Mangosteen, is a fast-growing tropical American tree that belongs to Gracinia intermedia species of Baraba. Crucesia family. These trees are generally found in Australia, Southern Mexico and Central America. They are also cultivated in Brazil, Philippines, Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador and Panama. Though Baraba is not an Indian fruit tree, they soon became very friendly and popular in India and adapted Indian soil and the salubrious tropical climate. These plants are now very prosperously grown in the orchards of Kerala shores. Like other fruit trees, these trees are not largely cultivated in other Indian states, probably due to climatic and other environmental conditions. This may be one of the crucial reasons for lack of awareness about this little fruit among the people. According to experts, developing high yield variety Baraba cultivars can be helpful to explore further about the medicinal potential and horticultural aspects of these fruits for benefit of food and health sectors. Now let us understand more about this tree. Baraba fruit trees are not very tall. They generally grow to a height of about 5 to 6 meters. It has a straight trunk with branches. Young leaves are very tender, soft and pinkish in color. Leaves are opposite and well-grown leaves become stiff, short petioled and leathery green on the upper side and yellowish green at the bottom side. Ripe Baraba fruits have bright yellow lemon color. Inside of the fruit has white pulp and citrus taste that can be eaten directly. These tasty fruits are used to make juices, drinks, jams, ice creams and jellies. Baraba fruits, though not very big, are enriched with antioxidants, minerals and vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, calcium and fiber that can be helpful to boost up our body's immune system and to maintain overall body health. Some reports say that Baraba fruits have higher antioxidants as compared to yummy mangosteen fruits. Wood of Baraba trees are very special because they are termite resistant. They are therefore used for various commercial purposes including making of wooden posts, tool handles etc. These are some of the uses of Baraba fruits and trees. Now naturally the question may come up as to how these trees can be grown. Growing Baraba fruit tree is not very difficult. They are mostly propagated from seeds though they can also be grown through grafting and air layering methods. If we are growing from seeds, care must be taken to ensure that only fresh seeds collected from healthy fruit trees are used. Seeds collected for germination should not be allowed to dry as dried Baraba seeds lose viability and may not germinate. The viability of seeds collected however can be retained for about a month if they are stored securely and the moisture content is retained well. Young plants can be grown in bigger pots or containers. People very often grow Baraba as bonsai ornamental trees to decorate facades, terraces and backyards. What Baraba tree needs for healthy growing are regular watering, full sunlight and humid environment. These lovely plants may tolerate partly shaded areas and can survive in hot climatic conditions for shorter periods. But they totally dislike frost and extreme winter climate. Baraba can be grown in a wide range of loam, clay and sandy soils which are moderately acidic or neutral in nature. They like well-drained organic rich soil to grow and flourish. The juvenile tree of this tree is short as a healthy plant start fruiting in 2 to 3 years after germination. Our 3 year old Baraba plant you are seeing now grown from seeds started fruiting recently. Now let us see the flowering methods of this tree. Baraba trees flower from their branch nodes. During this period, little self-pollinating white colored beautiful flowers appear in groups and this gives the whole tree branches a very gorgeous look. Flowering and fruiting functions of Baraba trees are sporadic throughout the year. Baraba plants are self fertile, however it is better to grow multiple plants to have better yielding. Outside part of these roots are shiny and smooth and they appear like small spheres. Inside the fruit there is a thin yellow, orange or red ring around the white soft pulp which is sweet and sour in taste. Aerial part of the fruit is edible and is consumed fresh. 
Each fruit contain one or two seeds. Now let us have a look on harvesting maraba fruits. Ripe fruits are plucked from the trees and stored after cleaning for a week at 20 degrees Celsius temperature to ripe fully. When ripe fruits are bright yellow and ready, they are packed well in airtight boxes or containers for sale or for future use. Finally, let us have a look over the major problems faced in growing these fruit trees. Insects and diseases are main enemies of baraba trees and fruits. Most common insects creating problems for baraba trees and fruits are Leptidoptera insects including moss and lobate like scales. Care must be taken to protect fruits and trees from them. Use of effective and recommended insecticides and regular observation of trees and fruits can solve these problems to a great extent. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the contents, please like, share and subscribe to our Store channel. We at Sauvernia Store Home Garden grow exotic and rare plants to cater the needs of plant lovers. I will be back with details of another exotic rare plant soon. Till then, take good care of yourself and all dear and near ones. Thank you once again. God bless you and bye.